uh, there is a very simple flat plane behind us, and you can see the, the, the level of detail in the bug from a wireframe. 这边的状况呢，就是我们把 calculation， 我们把曲面细分，呃，呃，曲面细分完全关掉，所以左边可以看得出来说，哦，这个地面非常的平整。那右边的话呢，你可以看到这只虫虫它的这个的这个架构。Uh, so now I'm going to take up the the detail by 1,000 times. 那接下来我们把这个虫虫的细致度提升一千倍，就是强化它的 tessellation. Uh, what's happened is our bug now has a lot more detail veins and dents and platelets and is a lot more realistic and scary looking. So, by this detail improvement, you can see that this bug has more detail in its details, including its veins, or some of its plates, and all of these details have been removed. The ground he's on is now a three-dimensional space uh, with cracks and depth and texture. 然后后面这个地面也看得出来变得更立体了，你可以看到有一些呃，你可以感觉出来它的质地是粗糙的，然后上面有一些孔隙，有一些阴影。And his shadows, when you see them go into, actually roll into the texture and cracks, and with with full realism. 而且呢，为了追求真实度哦，我们还在左边可以看到说这只虫的影子，它如果是呃刚好现在动的那一段里面的话呢，你可以看看到影子会随之会有扭曲啦，会有不一样的深浅度。嗯、um, ，So that that is a very quick tour of Snapdragon 810, uh, talking about 4K, talking about、uh, Dolby Atmos audio, and the next generation of what's possible from a gaming perspective.、Uh, before we Uh, actually, we'll show you a commercial product too. Why don't we let you hot swap?、Uh, so those are some of the technologies and demonstrations.、Uh, let us show you a game called、uh, Godfire by a, a very small developer in Poland who used our tools and built、uh, something pretty amazing. 那刚刚跟大家简介了一下，就是 Snapdragon 八一零可以呃，这个支援的面向包括了四 K， 包括杜比音响的 Atmos， 包括了在游戏上面的支援等等，这一些都是呃 Snapdragon 可以做到的技术。那接下来给大家看到的是一个在呃波兰的小游戏公司所做的 Godfire 的这个游戏。And you can see support for、uh, very high frame rates as well as very interesting lighting effects and flame effects in the background. 大家可以看到，它支援的非常每秒的帧数，它可以支援到非常高。然后后面的一些细节、火焰啦等等的，呃，这个表现都很足够。And the game also has、uh, depth and perspective, and is a lot more cinematic with the things that are in the foreground and focus, and things that are、uh, off to the sides,、uh, having less focus is, is like in real life. 然后也可以看得出来整个场景的景深，比如说在比较前景重点的部分呢，你可以看到都有对到焦。那比较后面的部分呢，不重要的部分的话呢，就会比较这个失焦，就是散景。所以与现实的世界非常的相像。